Welcome to Electron Online and here we're going to do an example where we're going to use the law of sines to solve for the angles and the sides of a triangle. There's usually two main cases. One case where you know two sides and an angle, the other case where you know two angles and a side. So this is going to be an example where you know two sides and an angle, so we call that the SSA case or the side-side angle case. You always need to know at least three things about a triangle before you can calculate everything else about the triangle. So here we have we're given side A is equal to 10, side C is equal to 12, and angle A is 55 degrees. We're looking for side B, angle, oh, not angle A. We're looking for angle B and angle C. All right, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we're going to set up at least, well, let's write down the equation. May I just might as well write the equation. So we have the sine of angle A divided by side A equals the sine of angle B divided by side B equals the sine of angle C divided by side C. Now notice that we know C and A and angle A. So we know these two and we know side C. So what we can then do is we can set this equal to that part of the equation and then solve for the only remaining unknown which is the angle C. So we can write this as sine of A divided by A equals sine of C divided by side C, isolate the sine of C, so now we get the sine of C is equal to C times the sine of A divided by A, so I took the C, brought it over here, moved it, and then turned the equation around, so now the angle C is equal to the arc sine of the ratio of side C times the sine of A divided by side A. Now all we have to do here is plug in the numbers and take the arc sine of that. So this is equal to the arc sine of side C is 12. Sine of A, that would be the sine of 55 degrees. And divide the whole thing by A, which is 10. And let's see what we get. So here's the calculator. So sine of 55 uh, times 12 divided by 10 equals all right, and then we take the arc sine of that, and we get 79.4 degrees. So the angle C is equal to 79.4 degrees. So we have one of our answers. All right, now that we know two of the angles, we know A and we know C, we go for is then find the third angle because we know the sum of the angles add up to 180 degrees. So A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees, which means that the unknown angle B can be found by taking 180 degrees, subtract from that A, subtract from that C, or 180 degrees, minus A, which is 55 degrees, and minus C, which we found to be 79.4 degrees. All right, so therefore angle B is, so subtract that, minus, and minus 55 plus 180 equals, and we get 45.6 degrees. So 45.6 degrees, and now we know all three angles. The only thing left to find to be found was side B. And so then, since now we know angle B, we can then take this equation here and write sine of A divided by side A equals sine of B divided by side B, and then solve that equation for side B. So we get B is equal to A times the sine of side B, or angle B, divided by the sine of angle A. And therefore, B is equal to A, which is 10, times the sine of B. And B was 45.6 degrees, divided by sine of A, and sine is, A is 55 degrees, sine of 55 degrees. All right, so let's see what that is equal to. So 45.6, take the sine of that, and divide by the sine of 55, and then multiply it times 10, and I get 8.7, so B is equal to 8.7, and now we know all three unknowns. We know B and side B. And so, that's how we do that. That's how we use the law of sines to come up with the unknown portions of the triangle. In this case, we have the side-side angle uh, was given, so two sides and angle were given. We're trying to find the other two angles and the third side. That's how we do that.